Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor. And today I'm so excited because we have a very special guest today. We have Charlotte Adams and she is a guitar educator and a guitar teacher. And she really dives deep into music and she's really passionate about music. And she has a lot to teach and a lot to share about guitar and about how it really incorporates your soul and how all the different beautiful things it could do for you. And she has a lot to tell us, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to give the, the book right to Charlotte. And Charlotte, tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do, because I'm very excited to have you on the show. Well, thank you. I'm excited to be here too, Stacey. So um, yeah, a little about myself, just a little. Um, I grew up singing and did a little, you know, playing piano and ukulele when I was little and then found the guitar when I was about 14 and that was it. So you couldn't get that in my hands after that. Um, so I, I went on to perform, but when I was in college, um, I also started teaching because like most guitar teachers, they think I got to get some money somewhere, you know, or yeah. some more money. So I started and I haven't stopped. So I've been teaching for a lifetime and that grew and grew and grew. I kept performing, but the teaching now is, is my main thing. And uh, about 20, a little over 20 years ago, I made my first, uh, my first video, my first guitar video, educational video. And um, so I started a website and then that gave me a place to start writing. So I ended up writing books and more books and then a few years ago, I wrote a two book set that I called You and Your Guitar, which is not a method book. It's really um, how to think, learn, play, steps to go through for optimal learning, uh, learning skills, uh, what I call character skills, you know, patience and inspiration, motivation, things like that. And uh, the other book that goes with it is a journal uh, mm -hmm. and practice law. So when I did that, I said, you know, this other website's not going to cut it. I got to I gotta have a website that reflects what I'm doing now and reflects this book. So I started my current website, which I call Limitless Guitar, which describes it. Um, just that, you know, we're going to lift limits. You, yeah. you don't have to have your limits and you're playing. So whether you're a beginner or you've been playing for years or you're a professional, you know, it's common to just hit a place where I can't go any further. But I'm about opening a place up for you so that you can go further. So that's real exciting for me. I teach one-on-one um, -on -one right now. I do everything online. For most of my career, I've done all kinds of stuff, workshops, uh, retreats, um, in-person, online, all kinds of different ways to go about it. But right now I'm teaching online and it's not just your typical lessons and so much that you're not required to come every week for a lesson. You can come whenever you want to. You can have a consultation. You can have what I call coaching, which is maybe uh, once a month and whenever you choose. So that if you are already playing, then you're not trying to fit into my schedule or what I think I need. I'm fitting to you. So I always feel like, you know, I'm here for the student. They're not here for me. So right. that's, that's basically what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Still, still doing a lot of writing. I, I write from my website um, and I still put together things like books and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I love that. You know, I I always loved music ever since I was a child and growing up. And but, you know, I you know, I remember you, you were writing about this in one of your um your articles, but you were saying how you don't have to actually be born with it. Cause I, I tried playing and I remember I had this woman, she came over the house and I tried playing the piano first. Cause I love the piano. I love all the instruments, but I thought if I could learn how to play the piano, they say the guitar will come very easy to you. So then I started to try to learn the piano, but then I got to a certain point and I had a lot of difficulty. And so then I didn't attempt to play the guitar because I thought, well, if I had difficulty in the piano, I probably won't, maybe I'm just not musically inclined. Maybe, you know, I'm more of a listener because when I listen to music, I feel like I go off into another world. Now, do you have to be musically inclined in order to learn 
how to play? Because you, some people, you hear stories about some musicians, uh, they just sat behind the piano or they just start, picked up a guitar and they started playing. And then you have people like me who are just, the, uh, the coordination is difficult, you know? What's your intake? Do you have, can you, can everybody learn or sometimes it's just hard for certain yeah. people? Yeah. No, everybody can. Yes. Everybody can absolutely learn. And that's really what you and your guitar, that book I was talking about is about because you, you know, you can grow your talent. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, you can learn the skills. Well, for one thing, you have to invest the time. Right. I think in our culture, everything is so fast and people yeah. just expect results really fast. And to get something deep and rich in your life, you have to invest in it Yes. and be there. And, um, you know, I just read something this morning. I found astounding. I, I don't even know if I can believe it, but if I do, it's a little depressing. <laughs> somebody did a study. They asked 10,000 people at various times. If you could skip ahead uh, and get to the end of what you're doing right now, would you do that? And like 40% of the time, people said yes. Wow. Wow. It made me think that's why people want to practice guitar. They want to pick up the guitar and play it. The yeah. process of learning is so rich. Yes. And every minute of it is wonderful. Every minute of it. and But you have to step into that and surrender to it. So if you're in that mindset, that no, I just want to get to the end. Well, you could do that. Go push play on some music recorder. And <laughs> music. <laughs> but if you want the experience of playing an instrument, then you put yourself into it. So there's that. And then there's also, you know, what you think about yourself. Do you think you can do it? Because if you think you can't do it, I guarantee you can't do it. Right. Then, then there's learning skills that are so important. And this is what I work with all my students with every day is you know things like break it down into smaller bits, play this more. Oh, stop playing that so much. You already know that. You're getting driving yourself into it. But like when to do more repetitions, when to do fewer repetitions, when to go faster, when to go slower, maybe uh, what what skill to take next. You know, the order in which you learn the skills. Yeah. Um, I have a thing, I have a page on my website that helps you assess that. So you can answer questions about what you do and don't know, and then get the suggestion to what you need to go, where you need to go at that point to get optimal learning efficiency and satisfaction. So learning skills, um, how you think about yourself, how you think about the music, what you've been told in your life. You may have to overcome Having somebody tell you, oh, you're tone deaf, or you can't carry a tune in a bucket, or you'll never be good at that. Right. Well, yeah, that's a lot to overcome, but you can do it. You can right. do it. And I want to support people in doing that, and it works. <laughs> so, yes, anybody can learn. Um, and I have read the biographies of several very famous musicians who, who did just that. They just really? worked. They surrendered to it, and they went to the top right so that's pretty cool those are inspirational things you can read things like that to inspire you yeah you know all that stuff helps but but practicing and practicing in a particular way with a particular mindset and regularly is golden yeah i love how you use that you have to surrender to it i like that yeah yeah well, don't you think that that's what you need to do for anything that you care about? Yes, yes, you do. Really, really. You know, if you have one foot in, one foot out, guess what? You're never going to get there. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I think you know, when you when you say mindset, I think that you really have to just believe in yourself. You have to have that that belief. Is that what you mm-hmm. mean when you say mindset? You have to have mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Okay merged with these other things yeah now I, I i did have a student at one point who just he loved the the movie um oh i know i can't think of the name but but it's the one about the the high school band teacher that richard yeah okay we i know, know i know anyway. what you're talking about i can't he, think of the he name loved that movie and it's a feel-good movie but he was always quoting it and he was just saying i know i just have to believe in myself and some one day i said you know what kevin i think you also need to practice <laughs> 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 it's 
else he had in his mind if he just believed in himself enough. But no, you have to put your hands on it and do it. You right. Know? And that's the same thing with any kind of manifestation. Yeah. You know, show me. You know, show me that you you're interested in doing this, so you can do it. Uh, you make the investment. You know. Right. You make the investment too. But part of that investment is the mental discipline and willingness to change your mind about yourself. To right. change your mind, to know that you can do it. To change your mind, that know that it's okay for you to be good at this. To change your mind that. You don't have to be perfect every time you pick up your guitar or maybe any time you don't have to play anything perfectly. You just take another step and take another step. I always laugh at myself because <laughs> I practice a lot and I worked really hard for a lot of years. And then I found myself one day in my studio playing and I was just overjoyed. And I thought, how was I able to do that? How how could I do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did it. <laughs> then I had to really laugh because obviously I could do that because of all the investment. But after you make that investment and after you surrender to it for a certain amount of time, it feels like magic. Yeah. And you see someone else playing and it seems like magic. But yeah. trust me, they made the investment. They always right. made the investment. They may not have the words around it. They may not be able to talk about music theory or you know name certain things on the fretboard, but they still know it. Yeah, right? yeah. So that's another thing. I mean, people people think, oh well, the greats never were educated about music. They didn't know anything about music. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. They just didn't have the words around it. Right. Right. Yeah. That's so yeah. true. That really is so true. I think people have to really have more self well, uh, self worth in themselves, and they uh -huh. have to just believe in themselves. And when you believe in yourself, you'll have the the willingness to really want to work at it, and then you'll you'll get yeah. there. You'll get there. Yeah. And you can be a tortoise. You don't have to throw yourself into it hours a day. Right. Just stay with it and stay with it and stay with it. But don't pop out of it. You know. Again, not only does our culture really want rapid results in the long term, but in a short term also. Like I'll yeah. see a student, I've gotten to where I just ask people to just practice for me. Yeah. You know, like when I was younger, I'd say, oh, go practice this. And they, like most teachers do. And then they bring it back and I could critique it and correct it and show them the next thing. But now I just like, well, tell, show me what you did. You know, because right. then I can see the process. And so often they'll do it two or three times. And they'll go, see, I can't do it. Right. I'm like, no, you can't. do it 12 more times this way. I want you to think about this and, that, and then it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And then awesome. You know, but you have to stick with each part longer. Um, don't pop out of your chair. You know, don't, don't check your emails and your texts during your practice time be with your instrument this is your time for that yeah you know the lovely gift it's a lovely gift so we need to honor it and then we get back feels like way more than we put in yeah oh yeah. for sure you know it's just it's amazing how how beautiful and how music can make you feel it just changes it just changes your whole your your mind, the way you think, the way you feel inside, it and it can stimulate you. And at the same time, you could be listening to a sad piece of music. It can make you cry. It's am it's amazing how it controls your emotions and how it can control your mind. Everything about your body, it really music. It really can can control you, but in in a good way. And uh, you know, yeah, I, yeah. Some yeah. of my best Peter. Comfort you. What? And it can comfort you. Oh, you it know? definitely can. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And playing it, I mean, listening to it does all that. But playing it, that's another thing about just getting into like a cycle. Just playing it. I mean, I've had times when I was grieving and I would go in and play a song that was appropriate for that. And right. just sing and sing it over and over and over and over again. Just a cycle, like a loop. You yeah. Know? I'm okay, you know, wow. then, I can, then I can go on. Yeah. So, and, and whether you sing or not, I mean, you can do it with your singing, you can do it with your instrumental versions of stuff. But so there's a lot of different, a lot of different things that uh, it does. And nowadays, 
you know, everything you pick up talks about, um, oh, you should learn an instrument because it helps you with your cognitive skills or, you know, that's the main thing. All the things that music is good for, but I don't really, music is good for your soul. Yeah. This is humanity. Yeah. A, a basic, deep need, a visceral um, part of of life, you know? Yeah. So I think by devaluing music in the schools, it has really um, made people think more in terms of can you make money or is it going to make you smarter? Is it going to yes. help you not get Alzheimer's? And yeah, those are great things. I'm I'm not saying they're not great things, but well, probably not going to make a lot of money with it. But <laughs> but um, but what about just your soul and your connection yeah. to people and your connection to life? You right. Know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I know before we had um, the before we started the show, you were mentioning the importance of singing and how you don't really see that a lot. You see people playing music, but people aren't singing songs like they used to, and and you feel like that's really hurting us. Can you go more into depth about that? Yeah, I think songs are important. I like simple songs, and um, if you want to play an instrument, it's important. I, I, I started on this sort of mission that I'm currently on um, because I hear so many people that get to a high level in some things about guitar playing, like shredding, you know, like they can right. play fast leads and stuff like that. Yeah. But they get stuck um, and they can't go beyond, they can't go beyond those boundaries. But also, yeah. um, even if they're not, really great at shredding or whatever yeah it will get stuck because and I, I i do think there's another reason for this that i can get to in a minute but but they don't have a foundation and right. the foundation is you know, learning songs a lot of songs with common chord progressions right what i would think of as simple when you do that then you get your ear attuned to that so then you can pick up your guitar or if it's some other instrument and you can play what you hear yeah okay so this is oh i can't, i can't play by ear well you a big step in that is listening 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 right. listening right and, and so so you get that um you develop your pitch sense yeah which is part of that a big part of that your yeah. inner ear and then the other thing is you just the thing i was talking about like comforting stimulating exciting learning all the different things you get from songs so right. um I, I, and these days also a lot of people will learn a few songs or a few things on the guitar and then that's it but more and more and more you'll get to be so much better musician and you'll enrich your life right so i'm currently um putting together a collection that should be ready in a week or two to give away free as an ebook of um songs Nice. Songs that, yeah, songs that are in the public domain, which means they're over 100 years old. Wow. And if you go, like, if you look, this is so interesting to me because some of these songs are just so beautiful and so wonderful, valuable. And I'm afraid they're getting lost. And if you if you do search on the internet like I did for songs in the public domain, you'll see people saying there's nothing in there except trash. It's all old. It's horrible. You won't find anything. Well, guess what? I have my beginning book is only songs in the public domain. And now I'm putting 20 more out that are. And then what I'm doing is uh, including with each song a link to my favorite performance by really wonderful musicians. So, you know, wow. we've got Aretha Franklin, Bruce, Bruce Springsteen. You know, we've got people that people know who they are. And that, yeah. you, you listen to these, you will be moved. You oh, will yeah. be they are amazing renditions you know songs that maybe you're familiar with but you never considered playing yeah or really enjoying. it's so cool <laughs> so so yeah that's that's what I'm kind of hoping that people will just download this book for free and play these songs and enjoy them yeah, and yeah. I think that's so important because 
You know, I was telling you earlier that, you know, I used to, when I used to drive with the kids, I'd make them listen to all the, the older songs, you know, the oldies from the 70s, 80s and 90s. And, you know, if, if it wasn't for me playing those songs, they would never know what those songs, you know, who sang them and what the words were. And, you know, if you if you go back and you may you, you name popular songs that we grew up with as kids, our kids have no idea who we're talking about. So I think it's so important right. to really bring those songs, especially songs from 100 years ago. You know, how wonderful yeah. is that to, to be able to, to recollect and go back that far in history and, and to refresh those songs and bring them back into society so people can actually appreciate them and enjoy them. I think we yeah. the biggest problem we have is that we're forgetting our past. We're forgetting our history, the good things about it. You know, we, we tend to remember the bad things, but we have to go back and really remember the beautiful, the good things, the things that can actually have meaning to our lives. Yeah. You? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good to embrace new things, but don't throw out the, like you're saying, don't throw out the, the great stuff that you've already built or enjoyed. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think, I think, and I think that's an excellent idea is to bring back those songs from so long ago. I, I love it. I can't wait to, 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 to uh, download the ebook. That sounds like wonderful. Yeah. You'll be able to find it on my site in a couple of weeks. So. Oh, wonderful. So it'll be on your, it'll be on your website in a couple of weeks then. Yeah. I have a, I wrote, I think maybe this kind of instigated this for me. I wrote an article, I write uh, articles for my site regularly. Mm -hmm. And I wrote one recently called Why You Need More Simple Songs. I think that's what I titled it. Anyway, Why You Need More Simple Songs. But it was about learning rhythm and chord progressions and so forth. And I'm certainly going to put that, all the articles, there's like 50 or 55, 60 articles or something under the the articles in the menu, at the top of the top of the page when you go to my site. So click on articles and even, I don't know if it's going to be on the home page, but I'll definitely put it on that page if you want to get that book. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. We'll put that and down so people can go onto your site and see that in the next couple of weeks. So you have right. a lot of yeah. a lot of great articles also to inspire people about music also on your website. I do, I do. And, and I, I encourage people to read them because they're not... Um, most of them are not ideas that you're going to find on other websites. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they're not really long or difficult, but there's some ideas that I think might help you out. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many books have you written? Because I know you've written a few. Can you tell us about them? Well, I, I think I can't. I think I've written six plus you and your guitar, but anyway, I have a big, I have these things that you might think are more like method books. So I have getting started, moving on, ear training theory. Um, I have one that I and lead playing, and oh, then nice. one that I call fifty two lessons, and it's for it's really great for teachers. Like if somebody comes to their lesson, but it's great if you're not a teacher. Somebody comes to their lesson and they they haven't practiced. You know, a lot of teachers just get been out of shape and don't know what to do with them. But yeah, I don't. Because I've always got something to teach them. Right. There's always more to learn. Yeah. So um, if if you are kind of unhappy and don't know what to do with a student, you just pick that up and find something to do with it. So it's not, not a method book, but it's 52 lessons of, of things you could, they're, you know, they're good to know. And then right. I had this two book set, your guitar. So, yeah. That I, I refer to already, and that's not you don't play with that. I mean, it's not a, it's not a method book or anything like that. You right. read it. It's a small book, but um, I had somebody tell me this is you know everything in here is important. Put it by your bedside, and you'll just pick it up. You can open up anywhere and read it over and over again. So that's one of those kind of things, you know. And oh, then the uh, the journal is actually I love the journal. It's beautiful. And uh, it prompts you in more ways. It's not. It's more than just a practice log, although it is that. But it also prompts you, you know, to write notes about things that you find inspiring. Maybe right. out of nature. Maybe you saw a painting. Maybe you heard. Maybe you saw a movie. What's what was funny to you? What was provocative? What made you start thinking in a different way? Um, so you have those kind of prompts as well as your practice log. And um, so those are. I guess I have six books plus you and your guitar in the journal so maybe eight yeah can they can they get them on like um amazon or barnes and nobles or something like that where can they find them you, 
you can find them on my site. Oh, nice. Some, yeah, some of them are on Amazon, but it's, I have to say, you know, my site's the best place to get them. You know, you'll know you'll get, if you come to my site, you'll get the best price. I'll always be there because I have them right here. Right. Um, and I will send them to you straight away. I mean, I, there's no delay at all. And I, and shipping is cheap and all that. So, oh, that's and also I have some bundles. Like if you go to my site, then then you can put books together, and you know get the bundle at a better price. Oh, so, very nice. Say hello to me when you're there. Trying <laughs> 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 to hear people. Oh. I'm trying to get you to come and talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You know, you know when you people when you talk about journaling, I, that's how some of the greatest songwriters started. They just started to journal. They started to write down their thoughts, and it turned into like a hit song. You hear that many times. You know, they, they wrote yeah. one or two sentences, and it, and, it, and 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 you know, and musicians it turned into into, into an amazing song. Yeah. You never know. You never know. And all know. those ideas that you have that just will go away if you don't get them down. Right. Right. And it, it includes like fretboard diagrams that are blank. So if you want to jot down on a staff paper, if you want to jot down your musical ideas, you know, melodic ideas or chord progressions or something, you don't, you can keep those too. And all my books have things in the back where you can print. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I forgot to tell you this, but this is really, I like this a lot. I have what I call a virtual studio on my site. Oh, and nice. it has a lot of, yeah, audio, video, and text lessons, as well as a few courses. Like if you want to take a course in ear training or um, chord melody, yeah. music theory, and um it's really cheap for the subscription, but I give the first month for free. And so I'm always telling people, look, it is not going to hurt my feelings if you just go in there for a month. You can learn so much, much in a month. And if you want to get out and not pay the $9.95, that's fine. I'm not trying to reel you in and keep you forever. You know, I want yeah. you to get what works for you. Right. But you should go to the virtual studio because there's a lot of stuff in there. And and I thought about that because I do have blank fretboards and you know I have some downloadable stuff that you can print out and that's a really good thing to do. I, I wish yeah. more people would print fretboard diagrams and staff paper and tab, and then just write stuff because it is so great for memorizing. Really, and people think that they've got something memorized, but when you write it, you you know it a lot more deeply. Write it, teach it, talk about it, look at it from different perspectives. You know, that's the way you really learn something deeply. Yeah. So, so yeah, if plus you can go and print some stuff and get a couple of backing tracks and, you know, check it out and stay or don't stay, but yeah, you know, get, get what works for you at a virtual studio. So that's in there. That sounds <laughs> really cool. I like that. And I, I liked when you said you talked about, um, ear therapy like when listening by the ear can you talk about that a little bit more that sounds very interesting it is it's, it's really cool and this is another thing that people think either you can do it or you don't but you definitely learn this and anyone who goes to music school learns ear training they they learn how to hear more precisely and specifically and to notate it or put it on their instrument and then you can get however long you live is however as you invest is however much you'll continue to improve with it yeah. but um it's what makes makes me be able to pick up my guitar and play something that I hear right as I'm hearing it like right after that you know wow. so students bring me songs that they're interested in playing and I say they say I'm going to play this song I say can you tell me send me a recording of it on YouTube or something and I listen to it and I show them how that that's because I have trained ears yeah um and and, you know, the mystery, the way I explain the mystery of it is, you know, if you come out, I live in the country, I live on 25 acres, two miles off of a paved road, and I can't see any houses around here or anything. I have courses and all kinds of wildlife. It's oh, how nice. But you know, I say, you know, like if you come out here and we go for a little walk and I say, oh, look at that deer, you may say, I don't see a deer. Right. Like, okay, and then, you know, everybody can relate to this. Okay, so see that tree that goes this way and see this and that and the other. Okay, now just to the right, now, you'll see a little white, that's its tail. Oh, like, that's its head. And and you learn how to how to see that deer. 
The yeah. next time you come out, you'll go, is that a deer? And the third time you'll say, ah, look at that deer. Yeah. You can learn how to do that. It's the same way with your ears. Wow. You, you know, you, you set your intention. You you have somebody help you nudge you this way and that way. Okay, it's this way. No, it's no, it's a little higher, it's a little lower. And you yeah. do that enough time and it starts to work. And right. then you can hear and hear it better. And and the other thing that's super cool about that is guess what? Then what? when you listen to music, it's so much better. Yeah. You have you're hearing all these things that you hadn't heard before. Right. I've had tell me that even without doing formal ear training with me, they're like, you told me I would enjoy music more after I started taking lessons. And it's a whole new world. So there's all these added benefits. Right. Again, do the work but the other thing that's cool about ear training is you don't have to be sitting there with your guitar in your hand with your designated time frame right you doing it a little with your coffee or tea or mid-morning break or whatever do it throughout the day as you're listening to music if you've got earbuds in or something you can be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, one three one three oh that's oh if that's a c that must be an e you know so you start uh integrating it right because more integrated in your life and your listening. Wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah. I can see that though, because you, if you start really training yourself and you start really listening, you'll start hearing things in a different way than you did before. You'll start appreciating it, and you'll start really looking for those different sounds and those different frequencies. Because if you're just listening, you're listening, but it's it's not resonating like to a point it is, but not not as deep as it would if you're starting to train your ear and really listen to the sounds and listen to the notes. Right. And I, I could see that. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's very cool. I like that. Well, and you can do it immediately, you know, the, today, <laughs> later today, when you're not talking to me, <laughs> <laughs> wait till we're done, <laughs> but you can go when you listen to the music, you can start um, like honing in on different, different parts of it. Okay. I want right. to just listen to the baseline now. Ooh, what's that little harmony that, that oh, I heard a woman singing a harmony there. Let me see if I can follow that line. You yeah. Know, start to the details and follow certain aspects of it. Mm -hmm. And then you can listen to form. Like, um, you know how poetry has form, like A, B, A, or A, A, B. So music yeah. has form too. And and you're already aware of this. I know you're already aware of this, but you, you can put names on it and then you can get a little bit better awareness of it as you move into more sophisticated things like you know a standard song would have like a a b a you know? yeah so verse verse chorus verse or something like that or a b a b or a b a b c you know different parts of it so you right can listen for that structure that's called structure um you can listen for if it sounds like it's in a major mode or a minor mode and, you know, the basic way you might describe that is major sounds happy, minor sounds sad. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it'll shift, like maybe the the verse is in major and the chorus is in minor or vice versa. Or maybe it won't. Um, you can you can start to listen for, is there one chord that just sounds a little different, but it still sounds right? Right. You know, that's 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 when that chord left the key, but it didn't go too far away. Right. You know, it's still related to the key. And so like when you're trying to find figure out a song, you can figure it out that way. You can say, okay, there's, oh, I, I recognize this chord progression, but wait, what's that? That's kind of interesting. Oh, they just went from a, a C to a C7, but we're in the key of C. You know, that, I didn't expect that. So right. you start seeing these patterns of things happen over and over again. That your ear is picking up. I've heard that before. I can do that. I know what that is. I've heard it before. Right. So just with that awareness and that attention, you can do this yourself. Right. You know, great degree. That sounds awesome. That sounds very exciting. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to try it. <laughs> I hope you do. I hope you do. Well, I'm telling you, piano and, and guitar. I love all instruments, because but for some reason, those two always, like when I would listen to people play it, it was just like, Oh, I just, I would just, I, I would melt away. Even, and I can't even, even I've, I've heard violinists play, and and it's, and it was so beautiful. You know, when you really hear professional violinists play, you know that would take me away also. And I would love that when, when people used to play the guitar, and you can, and you see professional people play, and 
And, you know, it, it was amazing how, how well they played like Eddie Van Halen. He was an amazing guitarist and he, and he, he was one of those people. He said that he just, he picked up a guitar and he started playing right away. And, um, you know, but uh, to learn different techniques, like you're saying, is amazing because then you could really, it, it doesn't have to seem so hard. And just like you said, believe in yourself, you know, you know, if you believe in yourself and you surrender yourself to music and you really put all that effort into it, just like you would anything else you liked, you could, you could learn it. Just like we don't know how to drive a car when we first go in a car, but we learn because we want to drive, right. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And there's a procedure. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't just get in the car and go get on the freeway. Right, exactly. <laughs> you have somebody to help you know, no, first you learn this, and then you add that, and then you add the other, and then you add the other. Yes. And that, that's what gets people, kind of, you know, in in a place where they're stuck a lot of times because they jump in in the middle, and they, yeah. they might do really well for a while, and then they, they don't. And then right. they kind of go, oh, we got to go back and fill in. Yeah in the door sit in the seat put in your seat belt <laughs> right yeah you know, there, there's stuff missing there's stuff missing so that um it's just it's just a big part of it but it's not a mystery it doesn't mean you're not talented you just go fill it in yeah you know? simple as that it doesn't reflect on you as being more or less or anything else it's just simple it's just go get go get what you need put it in there plug it in and go from there i love yeah. it i love it <laughs> And the virtual um, program that you have on your website, that sounds so interesting. So can you just like go a little bit deeper and tell us a little bit more about the virtual uh, program you have? Because that sounds very cool. Yeah. So it's um, other than the courses, it's just you choose what lessons you want. So there's okay. 100 and somewhere over 150, I don't know, mm -hmm. 150 lessons. And then um, whatever it is you're working on. There's there are cat I have it divided up into categories. So it's okay. music theory, lead playing, gotcha. sales and exercises, you know, different aspects of playing. And then you, you know, you just click on the one that looks like it would be helpful to you. And it might be an audio file or a video. Yeah. Or a mix. And by the way, <laughs> I, put, I put there's so much in there. I put my whole music theory book, I made videos of, of myself explaining every concept in the book. And it's oh, all wow. Music. So so you have a book and the videos of me teaching it, just like we were sitting here together and I'm I'm teaching it. Yeah. So that's there's some of that stuff in there. There's ear training. I've got my whole ear training course in there. Oh wow. That yeah. sounds so cool. What is your your website address so everybody has it? It, thank you. It's limitless-guitar.com. Limitless-guitar. And if, if you forget it, if you type in Charlotte Adams guitar or Charlotte Adams limitless or anything like that, it should come up on Google the first thing. So, But limitless-guitar. And we'll put that in the description box. So anyone that wants to um, click on to Charlotte's website, you'll find it in the description box. it will have the, her, her link to her website in, in the description box. That sounds Thank amazing. You. I and also have a Facebook page with that same name, Limitless Guitar. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that's a great community to join too, because then you'll get a lot of input from each other. I like that. And well, I have a Facebook group and my Facebook page, so you know, follow follow me on Facebook. But if you want to join my You and Your Guitar group, that's the name of the group is You and Your Guitar, oh, um, nice. and that's for people who are interested in and involved in this sort of. Uh, way of learning and playing that I'm describing and then um if you want to find me on Twitter it's a different I think it's Charlotte Adams guitar or something like that but you can find me yeah <laughs> and like, <laughs> I'm all on or if you just go to the website all my social stuff is on there you can find that stuff too so oh very I, cool. I really do like to hear from people you know yeah I'm, I'm sincere about that. I, I want to know what you're doing and how you feel about it and what I can do for you or just check in, tell me how it's going or whatever. So um, you can contact me through the site if you want to invite. 
I love that. I think engagement is so important because then you can really tend to, to your listeners' needs when they share really their questions or how they felt about something. You know, I, I think it's so important for, for people to engage with the people who they're interested in and want to learn more from. I think that's very important. Yeah, and it's the thing that's missing if you if you take online guitar courses, mm -hmm. they're for everybody. But, yeah. but you're an individual, you know? Right. So, I mean, it's a, it's great for the people creating the courses because they get the most money and they reach the most people and fastest and all that. And and it works really well when it does, but mm -hmm. but you're an individual. And I, and I think most of us really want to ask a question or we want to yeah. say, but wait, I already know this. Can I skip this? Oh, I need to go back and do it anyway. Right. Whatever. Um, we, you know, we need that. And so that's why I offer, you can just come for a consultation. You don't have to sign up for weekly lessons or, you know, do whatever you need. Yeah. But, but I think some combination of one-on-one um, -on -one lessons, um, courses, um, question and answer, you know, just it, if you just are trying to learn only one way, you may find yourself limited. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, if you had to emphasize everything that we talked about today, what are some of the most important factors you'd like to really get across to our listeners? I think I'd just like to get across that if you feel stuck, intimidated, disappointed, that you just don't have what it takes, like you described when you, when you started playing music, then, um, it's just not true. <laughs> it's just not true. You can right. do it. You right. just have found the way to do it. Right. I mean, you know, I think about myself when, you know, I was not athletic growing up. Some people just go out and they can just throw a ball and bam, they got, you know, every, but I'm teachable. Mm -hmm. Right. And if I have somebody that is kind and patient and knowledgeable and knows how to present things, when to present them, yes. I'm teachable right oh for sure 100 everybody's like that everybody's yes. like that so um be kind to yourself <laughs> and know that if if you're not succeeding in the ways that you want to you just not yet right it's just not yet. it's not forever i love that i love that Oh my God, this has been wonderful, Charlotte. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I hope to have you back soon. You, you oh, shared so much beautiful information and you were so encouraging. And, you know, I you, you've you taught me a lot. You know, there's so many different techniques and so many different ways of absorbing music and, and, and how you could really appreciate it even more so. Um, this has truly been a, a wonderful experience. Thank you so much, Charlotte, for everything. You've this amazing. has been I really amazing. Appreciate, oh. appreciate you having me and all that you say. Thank you, Stacey. Oh, you're very welcome. You have a wonderful day. You too. I look forward to talking again soon. <laughs> me too. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.